I'm just going to start talking, then you might as well, right? Uh, I think you do. But that's what, <laughs> you do, what I do, what I do. Waiting to do this piece. Uh, <laughs> hey, how's everyone doing? Are you are you welcoming? Are you feeling welcome? Are I, you welcome? I, I feel great. Another beautiful, lovely episode of Unsealed and Revealed, a special Wednesday episode. We hope all of you had a fantastic and relaxing long weekend. And now we are excited because we are going to play play with the toy uh i am your host jeff may and with me i have as always our resident six scale enthusiast slash expert and all around half celestial to know guy clender guy how you doing bud i'm feeling great jeff it's great to be back and great to show off this fun toy you are looking great and i'm very <laughs> happy about that and of course we have our intergalactic moderator cassidy over there on the ones and twos and she'll be taking your questions comments and concerns throughout all live channels cassidy how you living i'm living pretty great yeah just hit me up in the chats everyone i like that uh like we said we are live uh, across all uh, platforms and uh cassidy is monitoring those questions and comments and will relay them to us if she thinks that we're not going to answer them already ahead of time. Um, so please feel free to speak up in that chat because we want to hear from you. Now, today we are so excited that we get to look at the Star Lord from Infinity War, six scale piece from the Hot Toys movie masterpiece series. You can see uh, right over there to the side, Guy's got the box right there. And just like normal, my man Guy is back in the studio and he's feeling awesome, right, Guy? I'm feeling fantastic. That's what I'm talking about. Now, we are, of course, continuing to practice social distancing and being safe. And my man Brett is over there behind the camera, more than six feet away, wearing a mask. And nobody else is in the studio with Guy. And as always, we are doing our best to ensure the good health of ourselves and others. And we hope that you are, too. Now, without further ado, Guy, I'm going to need you to take a look at this figure because I right. am choosing a bit for this. All right. Let's take a look. Uh, we're going to take a look from our overhead camera here that you can see. This is our Sideshow exclusive. We've got real fun artwork up on the front with the Avengers logo uh, connected to it. And this is done as a painting and not a photograph of the figure. Uh, it does what I like that I've said before with the wraparound box, then showing the gauntlet here. The Avengers logo again in the gold on that side there. And again, wraps around showing his blaster on this side here. So I always like that. I, I, there's something about the uh, wraparound artwork that, uh, that I always like. Yeah, it is really great. That's a really crisp looking box too. Oh, that, it is. The way that it really pops i love that design of star lord the mask it's oh so the, the mask is so fun uh I, I i liked how it just kind of um you know it pushes a button and the thing creates itself which i think is really neat so okay here's our overhead of this so you've got your uh window cut here uh sticking with our uh, avengers design where it'll have a little clip in there i'm gonna open this down the bottom and slide the figure out i like that it has the avengers design because i love the interaction um between uh thor and guardians uh and and them about uh, who the avengers are and who's a member exactly a now what i want to show you here is once you've slid out uh the figure you'll see here on the back of the box the back of the artwork is one additional accessory. So make sure that you pull that out and that is a portal. We're gonna be looking at that a little bit later, but that is inside the box. All That's right. a really cool addition. I'm very excited it's, about it's, that. It's really neat that they've done that. Next up, as always, the instructions. And I'm gonna say, I've, I've now gotten to the point where I'm starting to read them twice because you never can tell. <laughs> um, so, uh, I wouldn't expect anything less of you, guy. Well, you know, I'm going to probably go for a third time, depending. Um, but uh, even when they're simplistic, um, it's always neat to have both the pictures and the other. Um, so, uh, anyhow, there's a little unique supplemental that they've added that is warning about using uh, rechargeable or changing batteries. It's a battery warning, but they have put that in there. So, um, perhaps that has become an issue with some people. Um, 
Inside the instructions, you're going to learn uh, how to do the things with holstering the blasters uh, and adding some of those effects uh, and doing some of the uh, other effects as well as where to light the figure up. Yeah. This piece, looking at the, the sort of specs of this piece, there seems to be a lot of effects that come with this, which is really great. Um, yes. Things you wouldn't necessarily expect, and then Hot Toys really kind of knocked this one out of the park. Exactly. So let's take a look at some of those. On the top cover tray, you're going to have the two uh, portals that Doctor Strange creates for him, where we see him kind of jump and leap or, onto those. And yeah, those, those, those little... Like, the bases like the step bases yes and those we will be using um they can be used on their own but also with that um portal that's created next up in in the tray down here in the corner you're going to have your two batteries i've already put those in um to the swap out head sculpt with the mask assembled here we have our first uh upper tray in it you're going to have his blasters the bubble effect his additional hands and pegs, the uh, explosive device that he puts onto Thanos, as well as um, the little me mechanical um, triangular uh, weapon that he uses quite a bit uh, in that. Uh, are we talking about the gravity grenade? Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I'm like, what, what are or we calling this? Bomb. Um, it, yeah, the bomb thingy. It, it does a lot of different stuff. Uh, Throughout. It's super cool. I love those things. What a great um, piece. That will remove off. Then you have a tray underneath, and this has the uh, effect that can be used uh, with Thanos that will also use that gravity bomb, as well as an attachment um, that is going to go on the base to utilize um, the portal accessories we talked about. Now let's say what else is in the tray here. This, up in the upper corner, is where we have the mask parts that uh, when it assembles onto him, figure itself, which we're going to take out. Uh, as a protective measure, Hot Toys has gone and put a little foam on the base there underneath, uh, and that's because love, he does have that I leather, like that. so it's just another protective element. And that's a leather like, right? That's not that's not leather. Correct. Right? We get that question in the comments. So yes, let me, is I'll this curve an that leather? Question. Now, if you oh, yeah. yeah, if you have the other uh, Star Lord figures, this is a different uh, leather. It's a it's a little tighter uh, leather, a little more lifelike uh, look to it. Um, but I was let's say if it's tighter, well, it's because he's gained a little weight. But don't worry, he's getting a bow flex. <laughs> <laughs> um, Let's take a look. Let's set him up just like so and take a look. I love the coloring. I, I have, I've always thought that the, the, the uh, look of the Star-Lord character was neat. Um, he really nailed it. You know, they really captured something in the, in the zeitgeist with, um, with the Guardians of the Galaxy because everything else was pretty much a, was like an accepted character mm -hmm. up to that point. You had your Iron Mans, you had your Captain Americas. Nothing was really untested in the pop culture realm. Yes. Now you have Guardians of the Galaxy show up, and and this has become essentially, you know, not to mix things, but it, like this was Marvel Star Wars now. Mm -hmm. like, massively popular and really ranks crazy high on on people's favorite films is Guardians of the Galaxy, and to see them continue their journey throughout the Marvel Universe has been great. Yeah, it's it's been, it, it's it's very fun. It's very fun, and and Chris Pratt did an amazing job um, bringing that character uh, to life. So let's take a look. There we go. Uh, it's an amazing head sculpt. Uh, this is a new sculpt. You look at just how tight that hair is. You look at the multiple of washes and color designs in it. So it breaks it up so it's not just a solid color. This is one of my favorite little bits. I love how he pushes a little button on his earpiece to create the yeah. helmet. And I like that uh, that that's on there. Uh, just that, <laughs> that tight sculpt. Now there's another great, yeah. uh, you can see like the armament that's on the leather jacket. Uh, and the muddled coloring that they've done to that to give it a really uh, very realistic 
leather look at that back point and then on the shoulder pauldron as well. Yeah. The, the cut and fabric in, in these figures just keeps getting better and better because uh, you look at just how tiny that stitching is and yeah. you know, crisp, tiny stitches this, and it's, it's I'm, I'm really I'm really looking forward to seeing how mobility is going to be with this piece. Yeah, and we'll talk a little bit about that. Um, but again, just and all of those that that slight change in color, where it's you know it's not a solid uh, single color. It's done a little different. Um, when I said that uh, the leather is a little different, this is um, e even the size of the feel of that leather. Okay, um, is is shrunk down now a little more yeah. to scale. So that's what I meant. Well, it is funny. It is funny too because yeah, like remember in the beginning of Infinity War, one of the bits is that he has gained a little bit of weight, so mm -hmm. it's going to be a little bit tighter on him. Yeah, it's a uh, it's like it's a very clever yeah um, not a part of the the sculptors and and this the um, cut and sew department of Hot Toys. Now this lapel part here actually has a little magnet in it so that it keeps nice and tight on there it does is this um is this jacket stay on is it removable um according to the instructions it is not a removable coat however that is a functioning zipper that you see on the front um All right. star lord's um t-shirt did change in uh different uh incarnations throughout the series uh that he appeared in um but uh, it is not a removable. Uh, according to according to Hot Toys, you do not remove uh, the jacket. And when your jacket looks this cool, you just don't take it off. <laughs> That's my. Yeah, I don't have it. I don't. My leather no. jacket does not look this cool. It's funny how in 2014 the shift in changes of how how often we saw that red leather jacket at mm -hmm. conventions people wearing you know you're going into a july convention and you're seeing people wearing <laughs> red, leather, red leather jackets red leather jackets and i'm like aren't you dying right now um you know the 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 pains that you do to make sure your cosplay is great uh but again just amazing uh work on that i love how the color breaks and separates uh the little brass uh clasps around the arm um to the the buttons down on the lower end here uh spectacular then you're getting down into the pants in this darker uh maroon color again the tight stitching on that i love it anytime like that, that you kind of break up the solids or or um you know straight lines there's a lot more going on now under here on either side you have where you're going to attach his weapons. What weapons, yeah. We're gonna put those on. And then we work a little bit further down. And he has amazing boots. I love oh, the look of cool. these. I love the look of these. Uh, the, the paint scheme on them. Um, little rocket boosters there. Uh, the leather. Uh, look on them they kind of fold over the almost um, rubber tennis shoe-esque um, hiking style uh, yeah shoe like, to it there um, this is an articulated ball joint here as well and that means that this upper is uh, able to be to moved around little, so when you're do you pull uh, it up you can do that if you like, and then allowing for those poses, you know, if he, you know, needs to be in a dance off, you want to spin that little, spin the toe out to the side. Um, okay. But okay. That, that gives it just a little bit more uh, mobility. Again, like we show the pants back there, that tight, incredible stitch. We like you know, to call those. We like to call those space pants. Space pa exactly. They, space pants. They are out of the world. <laughs> And the other cool thing about um, these boots is. Oh, hey, look what you just forced us to do now. We're on Shredder. Shred <laughs> yes. And again, it's got that fun 
texture down on the bottom yeah, as well. Look at that. Look okay. at that. Yeah. It'll uh yeah, stay in shape. It looks like it's like um like a pockmarked. Mm -hmm. Like a like a like a pebbling uh, sort of yeah come i would like to get a closer view on that i, I didn't get a, a a particularly great okay there we go yeah that's cool yeah yeah they're not necessarily little bubbles they're odd little uh you know teardrop shapes and this and the other but they do have a very neat uh that creates what we call gription <laughs> he did there i like that i like that word a, a gripping uh traction um now before i pull out accessories and such. Um, is there anything, Cass, that I need to show off immediately while I have just Star-Lord? Guy, you beat me to it. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, that's okay, yeah. At the moment, um, not really. I feel like you guys have pretty much covered every question that has come our way so far. So Excellent. good job on that. Excellent. Well, good, well, good for us. <laughs> Look, we're doing mostly, it. Mostly me, but Guy, you're doing okay too. Um, so now I'm going to get into the additional accessories. First up, I'm going to pull out our additional head sculpt and then our helmet as it morphs. Okay, so let's take a look at the, your masked portrait here. Uh, again, that incredible tight and detailed sculpting of the hair mm -hmm. in there. I love that helmet. It's such a neat look. It's really cool. Such a neat look. Now this does have a light up feature. And you're going to remove the back oh. section. And then in here, there are two batteries that it comes with. Okay. You're gonna need the small screwdriver. Okay, does not come with one. I just used my own for that, as that we've seen before. But I am a, going to... a, a glasses repair kit, you know, at a, anywhere, yep. at like a, a, a local drugstore or something. They cost like a dollar fifty. Exactly. Exactly. Um, and uh, I would get one that if it if it has switch out little sizes, that's great. Um, sometimes, too. That... Yeah, I'm looking at mine and I'm like maybe maybe my sunglass uh, screwdriver might be a little too small, but. <laughs> You'd be surprised how tiny I, I, these screws are on these. So yeah. the tiny ones are, are fine. Now I, I have turned this on and uh, my incredible cameraman is going to turn off the lights so you can see the bright quality. Shout out to my, to my man, Brett. This remote is not We're going to get to that. Um, before, <laughs> uh, while he's working on that, Eventually. let's take a look at uh, this one here, which is what I'll call the forming helmet. And this is actually in multiple pieces. Oh, cool. Front unit, front part is magnetic. You lift that off. The two sides, however, are not magnetic. And they come off like so. And then there is the back piece of the helmet. The back piece of the helmet. Okay, now what I'm going to do is... Uh, put that on there a little bit later. There we go. Oh, hey, look at him. Look at him, red eyes. So I, I want to see the that round look and the red is such a fun, there. fun look. Yeah. So you while we've got the dark that, you know you're. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Your your day is going to be a little rougher there. that all right see i yeah i like the idea of doing a, a pose where you um i see you're putting the helmet on where a, a pose of him sort of triggering behind his ear the um yes the mask well while i had that head there and lit and i've taken the other off because we're gonna um put on the accessory but yes i love the uh the triggering one so let's take a look at how we do this one here. So you're going to have your standard head, you have the back plate, you have a right and left, and then the front magnetic. Now, a lot of times um, they will, on a piece, have a little R or a little L on those. Because these are mm -hmm. translucent, uh, they don't have anything like that because you would be able to see them. Um, 
We're going to do a close up here. Thank you very much, sir. I'm going to move his there. And you'll see that the sides actually have little clips. Okay. Okay. And okay. Now you can put the back piece on and then do these individually, or you could have one on like so, and I'm going to place the head in. Uh, be gentle when you're doing these. Um, those uh, We always, mm -hmm. always suggest we be very gentle. You know, we, this thing wasn't, you know, it didn't cost nothing. Mm -hmm. So... Or we, we we treat our pieces with love, care, and respect. And most importantly, the respect part. And there we yeah. have. I think that's cool. neat. Yeah, um, it is really. You know, the partial uh, coming together of it. it. It's a really cool effect. It's one of those things... To, to be honest, it's it's another one of the example of like Hot Toys didn't have to do this. No. Like if they had just released Helmeted and then just his face, people would have been like, yeah, this is perfect. Yeah. But to add that little effect there, even though realistically, how many people percentage wise do you think would, would pose it with that? Maybe three to five percent of, of, of people owning the piece would use that specific design. Right. But then to, to have it, to add it just in case to add that little extra time, that little extra production uh, time, the production cost to add to it. I got to be honest with them. Uh, good for them. Yeah. Good for Hot Toys. It's just, a, it's, yeah. it's just a little extra something. It's just in a little extra fun. Yeah. Now put his hand behind his ear so I can see that he's triggering that. All right. Because that's going to get into our posability. So let's take a look at our posability on that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I jumped the gun. Well, yeah. if I'm going to jump the gun, I'm, I might as well just say that for those of you who are just joining us, we are looking at the Star-Lord six-scale figure from Hot Toys. This is from Infinity War. Now, time for a shameless plug. Don't forget, if you like what you're seeing and you want to see more, make sure to subscribe and hit that notifications bell on our YouTube channel so you won't miss out on any of our content. We've got loads of giveaways and events going on all the time. So you're going to want to follow us on our social channels like at Collect Sideshow on Twitter and at Sideshow Collectibles on Instagram so you can keep an eye on those. Now, speaking of content, I want to let you know about a little show called The Comics Hall. Now, today at 4 p.m. Pacific, our resident comic book nerds, Amy and Paul, are getting together and they're going to talk about their recent haul because it's Wednesday and Wednesday is new comic book day. The show is great for those who have been reading comics forever or if you're just getting into them. So you're going to want to check that out. You can catch them live on all of our social channels, sort of like what you do with Unsealed and Revealed here. And this show is also available each week in podcast form on Acast, Apple Podcasts, and Alexa Flash Briefing. Uh, it's good to have them in the podcast family of Sideshow Collectibles. It's nice to not be alone. Uh, I like having company, and they are great. I love Amy and Paul. They're the best. They're super talented, super knowledgeable, um, so I am stoked on that. Now, Guy, now that I have uh, done my official middle of the show spiel, how are we doing with that pose? All right. There we go, sir. Now, I may swap Look at out that. one of the hands instead. That's more of a kind of a finger push there, but you see that you can do that up. <laughs> now you could also have it up like that without this on as he, you know, is just about ready to to turn it on. Um, yeah. We are going to drop that off because we're going to be getting into what our other accessories are as well. But we'll get back to that if people uh, have other questions on uh, that. Well, yeah, I mean, why we bring that up, Cassidy, how are we doing on questions, comments, or concerns over there? Um, we're doing good. Again, we I think we've covered pretty much everything so far, so keep it going. Good job. Alrighty. Good job. You know, it's funny about um, the the blasters that he has. I think you just took those out. Mm -hmm. um, I had a water gun that looked exactly like that when I was a kid. 
<laughs> and so when I saw those blasters, I was like, that's my water gun. <laughs> that's my water gun. Hey. It is crazy. Did you, did you call your parents at home and say, hey, did you guys let somebody take my water gun? Yeah. Did my water gun go to space? <laughs> Which so many people did. All right. So emptying out our first of the trays that we talked about. So you're going to have both of his blasters. As I said, the little uh, bomb that he puts onto Thanos there. The bubble effect, as well as his gravity grenade. I'm going to move this off here because I want to talk about the blasters themselves. Number one, I love the look of them. Uh, mm -hmm. The paint scheme on them, uh, the heat and such uh, on there, the multiple types of metal that are used, uh, the carbon fiber handle look uh, really gives us a lot. Now, these are our bubble effect, okay? I, I just realized when you said bubble effect, I was confused for a split second until I realized that it's from that scene and nowhere. <laughs> yep, exactly. Uh, and that is so cool to add that in. It's, it's really fun. This is one solid piece that is not painted. The kind of break that you see in the colors as far as that blue and translucent is just the way that the light uh, cuts through them. And then on the one end here, it's kind of got That's a your little plug. plug that'll go right in. Blue. God, that's so cool. Isn't that a fun little effect? Yeah, because I was looking at the other stuff and I was like, okay, plasma bomb, okay, gravity bomb, this all makes sense. And then the bubbles, and it, it took me a second and I was like, wait, what is, oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, for those of you that are a little concerned, remember the scene on Nowhere where uh, we find that uh, Thanos has already gotten hold of the reality gem? Yep. Uh, and then, so he uses that. That's a brutal scene. Oh, yeah. And he turns the guardians into like blocks and ribbons and things like yeah, that. Yeah, he's... Uh... He's a, he's a little he's a little rough. Um, so also on your blaster down in this little spot here, our little bomb here is hinged and becomes a little triangle that we see him throw, but it also attaches onto the bottom there. Oh, cool! For him to fire it off. Now this is also done in the scene where he uh, shoots this toward Thanos. Okay. That's where it lands down on the ground and becomes a big lightning effect. And that is also in our tray. Okay. So we're going to Oh, pull. damn. Oh, that Holy smokes, that is an impressive lightning effect. <laughs> and we're going to take that out. Uh it does have a couple of foam bits in there to keep it solid so boom i, I yeah. gotta be honest i saw in the in the rundown of what it comes with and i saw it says um lightning effect uh, and, and what it is i did not expect it to be that big <laughs> of of a, of a lightning effect it is a heck of an effect if you have the thanos uh figure his oh. arm will slide right into the top portion of it okay oh, this cool. is a softer material that will wrap around. On the bottom of it, you see that it will hold the opened version of said gravity bomb. So if I take the three out, it will lay in there. Like so. Oh, wow. Okay. That's what, so what you cool could lay it down. It's not even necessary to put it there. It's just, no, just no. There. So, and uh, you're absolutely right. Let's take a look. Um, now, it is not magnetic or have any clips to hold it in, but it just kind of goes over it. So, so you don't lose your accessory, you know where it is, that it is under there, but the effect is um, large and bright and thick enough down at the bottom, but you do know that it is there. Okay? Yeah, I might, I might leave it. I might leave it not, I, would, I might not put it in there and then keep the gravity bomb on the gun. Exactly, yeah, you can definitely do that. Um, but that is another accessory that we've shown there. I, I, I dig those, I dig those. Um, now let's take a look at how 
the blasters go on. Okay, now the blasters on each side, both right and left, uh, have a little notch here and here, and they just slide in and hold on. I dig these blasters, they're so cool. Yeah, they look so great. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that you're forgiving that they took your water gun uh, idea. Yeah, no, it's not like I made the water gun. Yeah, you know, I'm not. I'm not. Like, I'm not like you ripped off my copyright. I just was like, <laughs> no, I had a, I had a like water it. gun that looked exactly like that. Hey, hey, you kids. Um, hey, there it is, with them on there. Love that. Love that look. Hmm. Very, very oh, neat. Yeah. Um, now let's take a look at other accessories that we have with him. As far as our hands, you've got right and left fist, right and left on the trigger, mm -hmm. and you have a left a little bit more open. Is that for holding like the gravity bomb or something? I think so. I think you can you can yeah. hold some of the different uh, elements in there if you uh, wish. Because that's the plasma bomb right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the plasma. Um, but yes, you could. There it is. Place what a cool weapon that was too. Oh yeah, I really loved. I really loved when when we saw that for the first time. Swing. Yeah, and then tink. Uh, I love how it attaches to uh, to stuff like that. I think it's very very cool. So. Um, now, I think we're at the point where we can talk about some posability and then put our stand together and show our final accessory. Parts. Yeah, I really want to see I really want to see that with the or the Doctor Strange mandalas. All right, then we will do that. Well, we can, we can get there. We can get there mm -hmm. afterwards. Let's go flexibility first. So, standard ball joint up on head giving us full range of motion. Okay, this is a softer rubber on the neck. Mm -hmm. Okay, versus a go on. Okay, now let's we're gonna lift the arms up. Remember, you do have the leather in the undersuit, but you can go pretty darn. High. Is you the can... shoulder piece? Um, it is attached. Stuck. It is okay. So be careful on that. Um, mm -hmm. that's the right arm, correct? Be yep. careful on that right arm. Yeah, correct. Be careful on that one there. You've got a little more than 90. I got to be honest, this is more flexible than I expected inward. with the jacket. <laughs> doing, doing a unique little walk there. Yeah, yeah. It looks like he's doing the thriller dance. The jacket matches. Mm -hmm. There we go. The hands up routine. Now, even though I'm not hearing a ratchet, you do have that leather that's giving it a little bit of restriction as I do it, but just again, as uh, Terry will tell you, when you're posing, you're just going to go slower. But we can go straight out, even a little above 90 mm -hmm. in the front as well. Okay, we've got those shoulders inside that'll move forward and back. All right, can he do Jeff May's patented? Old Jimmy, man, oh. I was doing those, I was doing those this morning <laughs> for my run. So I was um, doing those old timey stretches and I was like, I hope Star-Lord can do these. I hope I, you know, if, if, if the toy can't do it, you shouldn't have to. All right, yeah. and then we get a, Get a good trunk twist out of there. I like hearing that kind of leather sound as we move it back. Leather. Down. Yeah. And That's again, a, yeah, not real leather, but very leather-like. Yeah, the squeaky leather jacket look. That's You'll see his... Faux leather. And you got the uh, belt underneath there. I know we've still got him with the arms up, but that's only so I can uh, get to the... Uh, 
leg. Okay. Leg, you got almost a full straight out. Talked about that the feet, we've got our full back bend. Mm -hmm. Ball joint. There's what we've talked about before where I can lift that up and get to where I need it and then slide it back down. And let's see how far Star Lord goes in his splits. Remember, to go gently, obviously, because of the fabric as you're going, but you get a good get a good range. Yeah, currently wider than turntable. There it is. That's for his, his break dancing, for his dance offs. And man. For those dance offs. For those dance offs. All right. So that tells us we've got quite a bit. And the reason it's neat to show the leg is because we do have two more accessories to take a look at. I'm going to guess. Uh, I'm going to guess. Excuse me. Uh, I'm going to guess that this specific effect that mm -hmm. the, these accessories are going to be used by the majority of people unless they're museum posers yeah yeah because this is a, a darn cool thing to be able to do all right so let's take a look at them they are going to be in that upper tray there is a right and a left one now flip these over to show them to you. They are not marked, okay? This is because it's a translucent plastic like that. They haven't put a little R or a little L, but there is a way to tell. It's also in your instructions. Make sure you look at those pictures uh, to kind of match them up. But on the exterior of the foot is where you will have your larger or taller flame effect. Okay, put that on the outer. So let's do that now, because that's what Jeff wants to see. Do it. <laughs> and I'm going to move it around to make sure I don't um, hit the little jets. It's another reason that it's nice to have that um, the uh, upper part being able to be moved a little bit. Slide toe in first, like so. Lift that up and out of the way. <laughs> so boom. And we have one yeah. on each foot. Yes, I can, for the moment, place it just like so. Which you could always do. To have it like that if you like. Yeah, I mean, I would, I, I for sure would have one sort of one knee up Sort of like he's, uh, you know, in like a, a mid-air run. Mm, oh, indeed. Now, let's take a look at how we do this. To move Star-Lord off and discuss the base itself. Thank you, sir. I guess I talked about that. Here is our Avengers base. Star-Lord on it. Our Infinity War logo. Okay, and this is done in kind of a matte style finish. And then the line art underneath. Now this is a dynamic stand. Put those in. You're going to have your dynamic stand clip, the standard one that we've seen. But then also in your tray you're going to see this one here. That's going to go on top of the clip and that is for us to be putting our effect on. All right. So yeah. give me a moment to uh, to this. And I, I'm going to give you a moment okay. as you are working through there. I'm going to hit up our intergalactic moderator, Cassidy, and ask if there are any questions or comments that we can answer while a guy is figuring this little um, this part of the the posing out. Um, at the moment, no. Um, I may as well just remind everyone while I'm here, though, that this figure is available for pre-order right now, and it is set to ship anytime from this month to October. But yeah, pretty much no questions. 
So look at that. Well, while we have that, why not why not go for that sort of shameless plug of saying, <laughs> hey, you can get this. I know we, we're, we're not, uh, you know, this is more of like a take a look at, at what we can do once you have the piece. But, you know, if you want to actually buy it, we don't mind sending <laughs> it to you. Yeah. <laughs> I guess. So let's um, yeah. quick take a look at uh, what we have here. Now, um, on this dynamic stand, single screw, and you can position to what height you'd like it at. Once yeah, we've done go that, little... this we've seen before. Now, a lot of times on the dynamic stand, it'll have a little cap up on top. This one here, mm -hmm. this back support, slides right down over it. Now, this doesn't have a little screw or anything. It slides and holds. And then, All right. Jump. Now, Guy, I have a question for you. And yes, I, I feel like this question might be coming from people. Mm -hmm. um, is there a way I can have you flip the direction of it? Because um, the way you have it now, can you pull it out, turn it, put it over, and then turn the clear base so that it's so you can't see the top of the stand. So can you put that? Yeah, like that. Is that a possibility for posing oh, yes. right there? Yeah, you can do. So I would. I personally would do it this way. Yep. And that minimizes the visibility of that stand. And I have a feeling that we people were going to ask if we could do that. So well, I'm going to and realizing that I'm I'm doing it backwards. So the way I was seeing, it, oh, I didn't oh, okay. see the thing that way. <laughs> um, but oh, yes, all right. yeah, that is true. I, I get the benefit of being in front of the piece. Yes, um, but um, uh, exactly. Really sure, but yeah. You know. There we okay, are. so that that is how we're gonna want to um, do that. Whoosh! You see that guy? That's why we make such a good team. There we go. Um, and it is. Uh, you will know what side it is on. There you have much clearer picture. Yeah. There, it's a little bit faded. But let's put Star-Lord. Yeah, get him on that pose. Because that's, like I said before, and, and I love that it um, we have the same Infinity War. All the Infinity War pieces have that very similar base, uh, mm -hmm. which I like very much. Uh, I love the addition that we have here for Star-Lord. I think it's really great. No, I'm just quickly throwing him on there and... Yeah. Not really posing, but just showing you where that, that you can't. Yeah. Now I have him. I have the the stand pretty low as far as the uh, clip, but obviously yeah. that can be. We'll go up. Yeah, and as... maybe get one of those knees higher. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna lift this off for a moment. I'm gonna go high on the. This is really, I love the Infinity War pieces that we have seen so far. Um, I think that they are a massive amount of um, fan favorites. I think this one is going to be a fan favorite among fan favorites because of this specific part of the effect. You know, when you look at people, you know, when you look at the collection of fan favorites and, you know, the Doctor Strange is obviously going to be one of them. It, it always will be. That That's an amazing piece as well. This one, I think, is going to crest up towards that area. I feel like I'm... There you go. Yeah. And I'm going to... Guy, I'm going to make you hate me for a second, but I'm going to make you put one of his blasters in his hand. Oh, that's... No, that's what I was going to... Oh, are I you? I just okay, wanted good. to put him higher up on the yeah. stand. I've got him... I could do a, probably another quarter inch. Uh, upward but because this uh, plastic piece rests atop the stand mm -hmm. okay that's that's not really um, a height uh, deal yeah that, that, right. that's one thing I mean it, it, we can't violate the international laws of physics or the universal laws of physics here international like the world's got <laughs> yeah, exactly yeah they're not they're not universal. they're just international yeah but like uh, um like daylight savings time perhaps they can be adjusted i'm not sure some people <laughs> use them and others others don't uh, is, is that is that correct yeah we of course do not um condone customizing in any way would you like but... me to draw? 
we can't go to your house and prevent you from doing that. Um, yeah, it could be all the way down at the bottom. Um, I was asked um, by our lovely cameraman if I can do it under. So what I'm going to do is... Oh, drop that first? Uh, let's see. We can drop this I feel first. like that's not impossible. I feel like that's, a, that's something you could very much do. Now it'll go down to the bottom. Like so. I think... I think my, was that Brett that had that idea? Oh, uh, it was. Shout out to Brett. Now, what this does, unfortunately, is it removes yeah. us the opportunity it for the, us the dynamic stand. stand part. I mean, it removes the um, the clip. So that. But if you want to do a cool pose, or you want to um, now, sort of if, do an yeah, end game style pose, if you wanted to just have that kind of more as a backdrop. Yeah, you could 100% do could that always, and then have them yeah. showing up from the game at the end the, on, on your kinda, right. Yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. More of the the uh, the end game uh, look there. Sorry, I'm trying to trying to do all of the different ones. Um, no, Guy, you're doing great. We, we are asking a lot of you. Uh, I recognize that. You're getting suggestions from both the audience, myself, and my man, Brett. And we're all <laughs> having different is and and poor guy trying to juggle everything you are a consummate professional oh i'm just a wacky kid with toys no 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 you're both <laughs> um uh cast do we have some questions on on mr uh mr quill here? um we actually do. We had a question um, from Eric Ton on YouTube who wanted to know if it comes from a, or with the background image. If it well, yes, that the it has the that image right there. The um, does it does portal. it come with this image or do you, or is okay, he so the, referring to something different, like a like a um, plastic? I mean, like a um, cardboard drop. I think that was what he meant, um, but it seems like the portal is kind of like the background, right? Yes. Yes. Okay, cool. And honestly, and, I, I prefer that uh, image to uh, most of the uh, most of the cardboard ones. I think that one, the creativity behind having the portal is so rad. Yeah. It's really fun to have that. They're, they're all agree. super great, but I just really like that. I'm sorry, Cassidy, go ahead. Oh, you're fine. Um, and then we had another question on YouTube. Um, Fober Dud wanted to know if we could just get a quick close up of Star Lord's face to see the expression. Yep. Let's move this off here. He's a he's a stern Lord of the Stars. Well, he's. We're gonna let our cameraman do that one while I um, rig up. Can you tilt his head back a little bit? guy can you just yeah so we can get because it was yeah that's much better i want to get that light in there sorry about that i'm gonna set him up there and let you kids uh let's get... talk about that class that that star lord kind of mustache i never think of him as having a mustache until i watch the movie and i'm like oh yeah he does a mustache <laughs> yeah, he's, he sports a stash it's a fun stash i really do yeah i really did enjoy this um this interaction, the, the the addition of Guardians in Infinity War really did make it so great. Yeah, I mean, the the build that uh, all of the, the Marvel films did, you know, just, and this one leads into this one, leads into this one, leads into this one, was always a, a really cool thing they did there. Um, I like yeah, that. Yeah, I am. Are, are, are you, um, are you in Infinity War or Endgame, or do you consider them both... Uh, equal i think they're both amazing films and re-watching it because i wanted to make sure um we talked a little about what can uh, what did the figure do and what can we have him do and all um i just realized that it's just all one huge mega film of fantastic um i saw them both theatrically a number of times um i don't know if i saw one more than the other um but you know, Infinity War just had some. That that end of Infinity War is is as oof as one can get. Yeah, I God, I loved that. It that that movie like it broke me in the best ways. Exa okay, there you go. Yes, in the absolute best ways. Does it uh, does it get you? 
Tyrion. And it really thing. is because you think it's an Avengers movie, and then you realize, like, oh no, this is a Thanos movie. Yes, this is his. It's it's his hero's journey, and you you find it hard pressed to refer to him in that way. But you know what what makes a great villain character is that to them they're not a villain. You know. Yeah. He doesn't see what he's doing as. Yeah, all of Marvel's best um, best villains do really have that sort of. I think Killmonger is another good example of of that, where you're like, yeah, he doesn't think he's wrong, and many of the people watching agreed. Yeah. All right. We're gonna... Yeah, this is so. For those of you that are getting your 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 shelves ready for this piece, you're gonna want some extra space on the top because you're probably gonna want to pose it with this background. Yes. So make sure you get some tall space ready. Oh, look at that. She's a... Oh, look at that. There, he's a beauty. <laughs> yeah, and I actually... It really... It does a great job sort of um, hiding the stand as well. Yeah. Place that one there. So there we go. We've got a little, little movement there. And if you want to not have him on there, but have the helmet on there, you've got you that can do option. that as well. That that amazing light up helmet that we have there. I'm just uh, he's he's going at you with the bubbles. He's coming at you with bubbles, but he also, uh, you know, since I have that that uh, that gun on there, I wanted to show that there are both those attachments. The gravity gun and the uh, and the bubbles. Yeah, that bubbles. That's a really cool. It's a it's really just, cool. It's a fun. It's I, a I, I, that, that's a. I'm changing the pose up and like you know what? Screw it. I'm putting the bubbles in today. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I'm putting in bubbles. Um, it's always uh, better with bubbles. I really, really do like this piece. I'm I'm very excited when I saw that we were doing this because I was informed that we were going to be doing this piece before, and I was excited, but I didn't realize how much I was going to like this piece. You know, sometimes I'm I'm I have the accurate level of excitement for a piece, and I was under I was underprepared for how much I would I would like the accessories to this piece. I knew they would nail it on the sculpt and the and the clothes and everything like that, but the accessories. Man, I should have paid more attention because that's really cool. He's yeah, it's very very fun. Now I'll um, remove that just to have it off there to just kind of show off the figure himself. I I, I think we all sort of agree that if you're going to get this, the best pose to go with would be using the the Doctor Strange mandalas on that. Yes, it just looks so great, you, and and it adds a sense of dynamism where your pose doesn't have to be crazy dynamic, and it will still seem incredibly dynamic. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I just kind of move them a little bit, but yeah, once you have them in your dynamic stand, you can kind of fiddle with it and how you how you want those done. So I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot it over to Cassidy real quick. Cass, how are we doing on questions and comments? What's going on? Um, we're doing good. We've pretty much covered everything. We did have a quick question from Granite Grizz on Twitch. Um, he wanted to see just the back side of the background, um, yes. which I think you did flip it around a few times, yeah, but, but maybe uh, you can do it once I'm more. Happy to do that so you can see what you've got. Okay, so there's your front. You're going to have more of a glossier, true look to it. You're going to know it's the back. So you're going to have more of that white print. Okay, and that's so you don't have light coming back through it and uh, ruining your effect. If you do have it in a lit cabinet or, you know, but you do have light in the room that comes from behind, you'll you'll be okay. But it's definitely I a like really that. cool base spot to have on there. <laughs> it's very yeah, very that is. Cool. Yeah, very, very fun. Now, let's see if it tells us, because I know there was some discussion on on, uh, on that. Attach graphic accessory to indicated holder, then attach it to the figure base. Well, that's exactly what we did. Just lay it over top. Um, it sure is. Yep. Um, as I said before, there's not a, um, on the 
clip that goes across the body, you can have a little screw there to tighten it down. But the plastic element that holds uh, that does not have anything like that. So it uh, lays pretty much right behind at whatever height you've put your dynamic yeah. stand is where you'll have that. Okay. Well, now that being said, I feel like, Cassidy, that was the one you had? Yeah. Did you have more? Yep, that was it. All right. Well, then, uh, in that case, all right, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us, and you've been an amazing audience. Remember, we, we love hearing your questions, comments, and concerns so we can talk about them, uh, about pieces uh, such as this amazing uh, Star-Lord six scale from Hot Toys from Infinity War. Now, if you're interested in any of our giveaways, which of course you are, uh, we're going to need you to go ahead and check out our art prints instagram at sideshow art prints you're going to want to get on that every week on thursdays we preview some of our newest art prints before they go up for pre-order and we hold a giveaway so right now we are giving away the x-men number seven fine art print by jan anacleto uh jay anacleto excuse me uh and i apologize uh, for butchering that name uh make sure to enter before tomorrow at 11 59 p.m pacific and cassidy is going to drop a link in the chats right now right now she's gonna do it right now she's doing it now now thank you all so much for hanging out with us and we're gonna see you next monday back at our regular time on the 14th at 10 a.m pacific for another episode of unsealed and revealed now make sure you stick around because we have the comics hall today at 4 p.m pacific that's right you get two shows from side show on this very special wednesday and they're going to talk about titles like Cyberpunk 2077, Ultraman, DC Death Metal, and so many more. Uh, Guy, thank you so much for doing what you do so well. I oh, appreciate it. Thank you. Adore. And I love you, Guy. <laughs> you are the best. Thank you, guys, um, for, Ka for letting me play. Uh, Cassidy, thank you all so much. You are so diligent, fantastic, and <laughs> you are the best. And I cherish and adore you. And as thank well as you. everybody. Uh, welcome and everybody watching i cherish adore and love you all too now uh thank you all for watching and of course don't forget to let your geek side show bye, bye.